let's get some reaction from Victoria Derbyshire in Manchester with a panel of people who she has assembled. Well, Steph was talking about the events in the city and the reaction in the city. We've been talking about the economy here and people's money with voters as uh, they drop into the People's Museum to discuss the people's vote, which is to leave the European Union. Paddy, you voted to leave and you believed those economic forecasts from the Remain campaign and still went for leave. Why? Yeah, after, after considering the forecast, I did think it was inevitable that there would be a temporary um, shock to the forecast, uh, pound, um, the FTSE. Um, but I think that to for, for the point of democracy, um, for to be able to, to uh, make our own laws and to decide our own sort of future, um, plus the strength of the UK economy, mm. um, I believe that, that that would only be temporary, but I thought that that would be... But so a, a, a potentially a temporary recession? Yes. Some but, job loss, losses, that would be worth it for the strength to, that it gives our democracy? I believe that there would be a pessimistic um, sort of devalue of, uh, of uh, the pound, let's say. Um, but I think that after a while that would pick up because I believe that the UK economy is strong. Bex, what do you think of that? You voted to remain. Yeah, I voted to remain. Um, I think we are stronger as a block. I think when people talk about Great Britain, I think we've kind of moved past that point. We're a part of a global economy and we need to be part of a bigger economy. But what about Paddy's point of view, that a temporary shock is, is, is worth it to him? Uh, I'm not convinced and I wanted to vote on a uh, on a kind of bigger level and I was worried about people at the bottom of the economy. I think that we're going to have real problems with people at the bottom of the economy, the weakest and the poorest are going to struggle the most. I think I'm going to be okay, um, but I have, I have got worries. I bought a house 10 weeks ago and we don't know what's going to happen with the interest rates. Um, I work in academia, a lot of that money comes from the EU. So where's all that going to go? So I've got some personal worries, but I've also got some worries for the poor people of the world. Um, Jules, you voted to remain. When you see events in the city, when you see the Governor of the Bank of England come out immediately after David Cameron to try to reassure the markets, what do you think here in Manchester? Well, clearly we knew it was going to have a shock. Um, it's probably been a double whammy with David Cameron going as well. Um, we just need to stay strong and, and, and keep our resolve here. The markets have already started to move back a little bit. Um, you know, I think tomorrow is going to paint a, a lot different a picture on the whole economy anyway. Well, tomorrow's so, Saturday, so well, the, the, when the markets so, yeah, indeed, yeah. when the markets reopen on Monday. Mm. Um, so it's a new day, um, and like I said earlier, the, the one thing that we don't want to happen is to talk ourselves into a recession and talk ourselves down. We've We've got to remain positive. Everyone the decision, in well, that's, that's right. The decision has been made now, and you know, I I voted remain for for various reasons, um, but I'm not dismayed either by the result. So, for me personally, I'm going to get behind it in any way I can, and and just just look look forward to a brighter future. You know, the decision has been made. Let's just all get behind it, keep smiling, and and, and do that the best we can. Do you yeah. feel positive, like Jules does, Bex? Um, do you I, accept the result? Um, I do accept the result. We're, we're in a democracy and the decision has been made. I know there's a petition going around to overturn it. I'll be interested to see wow. what happens with that. What, an online petition? Yeah, yeah. Okay. With people saying, you know, it wasn't it wasn't representative and it's too tight and it should... Oh, my gosh, it was a huge kind of, turnout, yeah, 72%. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of fascinating. But, I right. mean, it, you know, we were out later at an industry event last night, so we got up just in time to see and was really surprised. Um, but the one thing that had persuaded me maybe towards the Leave um, vote was the idea that I'm in a digital economy, so it's very global, and therefore does geography actually matter right. that much? Um, but I think there is still something about geography and local history and being part of a, an area that we've had um, relationships with for yeah. a long time. Do you think that stops now? No, I don't think right. it stops. Okay. That's, that's what I hope. But I'm hoping that the kind of vitriol that's gone on with the campaign, that people can leave that behind and say, if this is where we're going, then we need to go this way and we need to go in a positive way. Thank um, you, Bex, for the moment. Thank you, all of you. And more from Manchester a little later.